Hey guys, this is Mr. Night Not Eight Five Eight, and today we're gonna be playing a game called One Night Stand. I actually don't know a lot about this game. I've seen a couple of YouTubers played it, bits and pieces only, since I didn't want to give everything away for myself. But by the looks of it, it looks very simplistic, and it looks like a visual story kind of thing. Man, it should be pretty interesting for me to play since I don't really play a lot of these short little games. I usually play shooter, as you guys can tell from my channel. So this is a pretty nice setting for me to just sit back, relax, and read, basically. So hope you guys enjoy. Here's the show. Thank you, guys. Ugh. My head. My stomach. I feel like crap. Last night, what happened? Drink lots of drink, lots of drink happened. Huh. Mm -hmm. huh. What's that noise? Opening his eyes. Mm -hmm. My phone. Where's my phone? There it is. Got it. Mm -hmm. Shh. Mate, what the hell happened to you last night? I have no idea, but thanks a lot for waking me up. Low battery. Great. Crap, my phone's about to die. Better plug it before the battery runs out. Nope. Can't plug my phone into that. Or that. Ah, my phone charger has to be around here somewhere wait I don't recognize this beside table bedside table beside table what the heck this is in my room my clothes they're all over the floor am I I'm completely naked um Ooh, hello. Oh, I guess I got lucky last night. This must be her room? I hope this is her room, but who is she? Mm -hmm. My phone again. Mate, you totally bailed on everyone last night. You went to get a round of drinks and never came back. What the fuck? All the girls were so pissed off. I can't believe I ditched my date so you could just bail on us like that. On us all. Shit, sounds like drunk me was up to no good last night. Hate to let my mates down, but I guess my mind must have been elsewhere. Sorry. I honestly don't know what happened to me last night, but I guess what? But guess what? I pulled. <laughs> Stupid. Huh. <laughs> that should shut him up. Could she be one of the girls from last night that Gary was talking about? Even if she was, I don't know anything about her. I can't even remember her name. Shit, I can't really remember anything that happened last night. I don't even know where the hell I am I right now. Ugh, this hangover isn't helping. Mm -hmm. Bullshit. One drink and you're off, betting woman. You're gonna, you're gonna need a better excuse for ditching all your mates than that. Gary doesn't believe me. He sounds pretty pissed off. If Gary's not going to take my word for it, I could take a sneaky picture. That would shut him up. What should I do? Oh, I get to decide now, eh? Uh, I guess it's all about the moral standards, so... I won't take a picture. Nah, I'm not going to stoop through that. Exactly. Be your own man. Ah, shit. My phone's dead anyway. What should I do now? Wake her up, go back to sleep, get out of here. Uh, I guess I'll go back to sleep. I guess I'll just kick back and wait for this whole thing to blow over. I could use some more sleep anyway. Oh, what the... Did she just throw the duvet over me? Duvet? The duvet? 
she's gone? Maybe she's a little freaked out about all of this. I know I am. Still, I didn't really get a good look at her fa face. Or good look at her. Maybe she wants me to leave? My phone's dead. No point into looking at it anymore. It's a pile of magazines. There's some music and gaming mags in here. Some of the articles sound pretty interesting. Shame I don't have the time to read them now. Ah, there's my jeans. A few odd stains on here. Ew. I reckon they're good for another day or two. I really need to find my boxers before I put them on. Oops. Oh, hey. Oh, pff, there you go. Oh, hey. Um, hey. Sorry about dashing out of the room like that. I hope I didn't freak you out or anything. It's alright. I was just a little shocked when I was suddenly smothered by the duvet. Sorry, as soon as I woke up, I just really needed to dash at the bathroom. Um, I'd rather not go into this, so if it's okay with you. Yes, of course. Whatever you say. See, you found your jeans. Oh yeah, I thought I'd pick them up. <coughs> Excuse me. So, have you been awake along? Awake long? Oh, along. Not really. My phone woke me up. I wondered that what was that noise. It woke me up too. Ah, sorry. My bad. Don't worry about it. This is a little awkward. Yeah, it is. I should ask something. Um, hangover? Do you have a hangover? Yeah, just a little one. I mostly just feel nause nauseated or nauseous after a night out like that. What about you? You don't look too great. You don't look too great. Are you feeling okay? I'm alright, thanks. Are you sure I can get you something? Mmm, coffee? A cup of coffee would help me shake off this hangover. Nice, I'll go put the kettle on and see if we have some instant coffee in. Interesting. Okay, hmm, that went well. She seems nice. Still, I'm no closer to finding out what happened last night. How did my shirt end up all the way up here? It stinks of sweat and smoke and you know what? I'd rather not find out. Anyway, it's all I've got, so I have no choice. I'll put it on. Hmm, an introduction to English literature. English, English, my English bad. English literature in context the rest of these look like textbooks around me the same subject I guess she's studying English literature at a college or a university there's also some DVDs ooh that's a nice guitar I bet this is worth a lot of money I think I know how to play a few chords but now really isn't the time for that hey how are you holding up? How am I holding up? I have no idea. Um, yeah. Fine. Well, I hope this helps. Thanks. It smells good. Well, it's not Starbucks, but hopefully it'll sh help shift that hangover. It's delicious. Hmm. Huh. Awkward. <laughs> You said it. It feels awkward again. I should really ask her about last night. She must know something. So, uh, that was quite a night, huh? Yeah, it was alright. Alright? Ooh. By the way, thanks. Huh? 
Last night, I was feeling pretty down. I always brush off the idea of meeting up with a stranger through a dating app. <laughs> that must be how we met. And then having the guy bail on me in the middle of the date. Huh? What an asshole. Okay, I think we can assume that the guy wasn't me. I was about ready to jump into a taxi to go home and shut myself in for days. I'm really glad you showed up. You bought me a drink, you listened to me, and it cheered me up. I guess the night turned out around thanks to you. So she got stood up last night and I stepped in. Maybe this explains why I accidentally abandoned Gary and my friends last night. Even if I can't remember anything we talked about. Don't worry about it. Although I think I ended up abandoning my friends by accident. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. They're just a little pissed with me this morning. I didn't even realize you were there with friends. You didn't mention anything about them at all. Really? I was in a bar with Gary and a couple of other people, I think. Hmm. Huh? You think? Whoa, hang on. Do you even remember my name? Uh, oh my god. This is humiliating. I'm sorry. Pretty awkward. So, you don't remember anything? What should I say? Um, I remember parts because of what happened or what my friend texted me, but that's really about it. I remember parts. Clearly, well, I guess I'd be t be hazy too if I were been drinking as much as you. Excuse me. That's funny though, huh? I'd be pretty freaked out if I couldn't remember anything after a night out. <laughs> yeah, you have no idea. Listen about last night. Yeah? Going out, meeting a total stranger, and bringing them here, home. This isn't something I normally do. In fact, I've never done this before. She's never done it, had a one night stand before. Have you ever done anything like this before? Uh, it sounds like I'm pretty confident about it. Uh, so I guess I'm gonna pick yes. This isn't my first time. Oh, that's kind of worrying. Sorry, your business is your business. Whoops. We took precautions anyway, so we're probably fine. Hmm. I guess what I'm trying to say is I don't want this to be typical. I mean, you're still here. You didn't sneak out before I woke up or while I was out of the room. I don't know. Clearly, you were nice to me last night. But part of me thought you'd want to leave as soon as you wake up. Woke up. But you're still here. I mean that in a good way, of course. She's happy that I'm still here? I guess I've managed to make a good impression, all things considered. Listen. We didn't really get to know each other the other night that well last night. Oops. I ranted about my date and life troubles. I've talked enough about me. Tell me about you. Huh. 
Tell me something about you. Um, I know this might sound strange, but if we get to know each other a little better, then maybe this could be different. Different? Like, maybe this doesn't have to be as weird as two strangers hooking up. I don't know. Sure, I guess. What should I tell her about myself? Should I talk about... Hobbies? Well, I guess I'll start with... Uh, huh? Sorry, wait here, I'll be right back. Whoa, alright. She's gone. That was strange. She turned pale as soon as I opened my mouth. I wonder if I can find out anything more about her. It's a romance novel. Eye of Embrace? It sounds intriguing. Maybe I should give this a read. Wallet. Must be her wallet. I really shouldn't be looking through this, but then again, this might contain some useful information about her. A driver's license and an ID card. Something with her date of birth or something at name at least. Should I look in her wallet? Nah, man. It's all good. Nope. I won't stoop that low. I'll leave it alone. Ooh, underwear. It's some panties. Oh, frilly. I'm almost certain they're not mine. I'll fucking hope not. She's back. Hey, are you okay? Not really. Sorry, I just feel really sick all of a sudden. Maybe it was something I ate last night or too much drink. What should I do? Offer to help. Can I get you anything? Thanks, but I think I need to just get, get some rest. I hate to be rude, but I'd like to be alone now. Are you sure? Yeah, please don't take it the wrong way. You've been really. You've been a real gent. Even this morning, when you could have easily just left. Sorry to cut this short. I just need to get some rest. Okay. If you say so. I'll quickly gather up the remind, remainder of my belongings. I still can't find where my underwear though. What the hell? Okay, I've got all my stuff. Cool. There's a bus station down the road from here, so you could be able to get home from there. Thanks. Listen, don't take this the wrong way. You've been a real you've been really nice this whole time. I'm grateful for that. How should I respond? Uh Let's be friends. Can we be friends? Hmm. Yeah. I think so. Don't get me wrong, I don't mean friends with benefits or anything like that. But you made me feel better in a moment of need. And I'm grateful for that. So yeah, let's be friends. You gather your belongings and gave her your contact details. Oh my god, the volume is so loud. Though, you still didn't find out her name. She sees you into the front of the door and gives you a hug. You smile. She's really a nice girl after all. You walk out into the street and head to the nearby bus station that she suggested. When you get home, you charge your phone and discover a message from an unknown number. Thanks, X. I wonder how else could that play it out. Huh. Pretty interesting take there, guys. 
it looks like there's gonna be like a flag in between where you can branch out from one decision to another if you made the right ones I guess and that is one of the endings that I got so I don't know if I'm gonna play another one of this another round of one night stand but if you guys enjoy it I'll play another episode if not you guys can find it out for yourself you can either donate to get it or you can also get it for free I'll put a link up in the description down below but yeah I guess this is it for now this is Mr. Night Night 858 hope you guys enjoyed this episode and I'll see you guys in the next one take it easy guys bye bye